most moms don't have two hands to use all the time. So if you're coming up here with a baby, one hand, one hand, you can get up the stairs safely. You can also close it easily. Done. Hey everybody, this is Lane with Suburban Millennial and today we're gonna be reviewing this, this, the Retractigate 9000. I'm just kidding, just the Retractigate. It's amazing, it is the last baby gate you will ever need, last toddler gate you'll ever need. I'll tell you all about it right now in this video. Stick around. So I wanna walk you through the basic components of the Retracta gate. It has this brace, which goes on the kind of main supporting wall. It's very simplistic design. It's super easy to assemble. Basically, you just have these two, these two braces, this one and this one, and you, you just measure to make sure that you're you know, kind of far enough away from the wall. We put these little pieces of wood here, super simple. We just got two little pieces of, of wood uh, just to make sure that we're coming out from our baseboard just enough so that it's flush, nothing complicated. I'm not a handyman, uh, but I, even I was able to figure that out. Super simple. Couple screws to get that in there, and then we just put these braces in. Once you get that in, this whole component is, is a single component that is solid and just part of the same thing. You just clip it in. I mean, literally, that, that just clips in, and you're good to go over there. And then over here, you do the same thing with these braces, where you just have the, the brace itself, Again, we had these little pieces of, of wood that bump it out from, from the baseboards because this one we just put on the baseboard, as you can see, and so we just have the wood that's the same thickness of it, these two clips that face, that face the other way, that face out that way, and that's very important because when you shut it, you're gonna pull it like this, you're gonna pull it over this, and then it goes in like that. So it's very, very simple. And then when you're ready to be done with it, you just take it out and put it back. Once your kid is old enough to figure out how to unlock it and lock it themselves, you're really not worried about that at that point, about that kid tumbling down the stairs. Now I will say, I've fallen down the stairs just like two weeks ago because I had socks on and I was on my phone and I took one step and just plummeted down the stairs. So it can happen even when you're in your 30s, but typically our three-year-old doesn't do it and our two-year-old doesn't do it. So um, we don't really have to worry about that as much, but when the kids are younger and you really don't want them to have access to the stairs, they can't figure out how to unlock it. Okay, real talk, what do I not like? There's really one thing I don't like about this design and that is that it's fabric. Now I will say it's a nice fabric. It's a very durable fabric. It's the best kind of fabric for this kind of gate. I highly recommend the gate anyway, but because it's fabric, sometimes the kids can get up here and kind of lean on it and mess with it. And it really does get back to its shape, but sometimes it can be like bent and bowed for a little bit, which just bothers me because I'm a little bit OCD and I like it to be completely straight. But I feel like for the trade-off, the fact that you don't have it swinging around and it's not this big cumbersome thing, that's something I can live with. Because as long as it's, you shut it for a little bit, maybe like overnight when the kids aren't running around, it retakes its shape and it's just fine. I mean, you can see here, I was jerking on it for a long time, like pulling on it and messing with it, and it still looks fine. Okay, so one question that you might have is, does this thing hold up to the pressure of kids pulling on it? And as you can see, my little girls are giving it all they've got, they're pushing down on it, and when it's locked, it's tight. It doesn't move, it doesn't budge, it's pretty amazing. Some people think when they look at it that it would, it would budge, it just doesn't, it really holds up. Okay, so honestly, this gate keeps everything out. All right, so this is my wife, Rachel. She's gonna tell you about some really cool features that the Retractigate also has. A couple of selling points for me, since it was a slightly higher price point than I wanted, was A, you can blend it in with your natural surroundings. So they come in white, black, and off-white. You can buy more of these brackets and you can reposition them elsewhere. So it's like you get, you pay for one gate and can get multiple gates. So if we wanted, for example, 
we could buy extra gates and put like brackets right here and right here so you can just take it off and move it. You can also keep them at your parents' house, your parents-in-law's house. Just buy a few of those extra plastic pieces and bring, pop this off, bring it with you and instantly have a gate at their house because I know sometimes when you go to a family's house, you have to worry about the stairs so you don't have to do that anymore. It's just pretty cheap to buy the brackets and then bring it with you. Most moms don't have two hands to use all the time. So if you're coming up here with a baby, one hand, one hand, you can get up the stairs safely. You can also close it easily. Done. That was a huge selling point for me. I didn't even want to look at any gates that needed two hand operations because how often do you have two hands really? Sometimes our friends come over with little kids and I say, oh, I'll put the gate up and they didn't even realize we have a gate because it blends so seamlessly. Like that. Especially because we have this entryway is one of the first things that people see when they come in our house. I wanted clean lines. I didn't want an ugly gate with it. So the great thing about this too is it feels kind of like a woven vinyl plasticky material. So it's super easy to wipe down because you know you're going to get tons of grubby fingers all over it. So I just usually use a baby wipe, but I'm sure you can also use a Lysol wipe or anything like that. So there you have it. Overall, I'm super enthusiastic about this product. I think it's awesome. I think you should totally get it. The link will be in the description to buy it on Amazon. It's got prime shipping, so you can get it within like a couple of days. And I honestly think you're gonna really love it. We're very happy with it. And let me know in the comments if you get it and if you like it and what your thoughts are on it.